Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. I'm gonna show you a very cute design that I, I can't believe it's not there. And I maybe I lost it, but this is the best part. Every time you make balloons, and probably it happened to you because it happened to me that what happened, you make it differently. So I was thinking, hmm, this design is cute for Dr. Seuss. It's one of those fish uh, that the fish that I was telling the kids to be very well behaved, but the cat was, you know, saying, no, go crazy. <laughs> and so that fish that is in the fish bowl is the idea. So I'm going to show you the design and it's this. Look how cool idea, how cool. Uh, even that you see the face and like, wait a minute, that's not a fish. But guess what? When you see uh, Dr. Seuss designs, you know, the drawings, it's kind of like also a crazy type of fish. The good thing is the effect. And uh, let's uh, practice and enjoy the techniques. We can make it more elaborated, but uh, this design is already using four balloons pretty much. Yes. And we're going to play with different types of balloons. I remember I made it before with only balloons to 60s or and 160s. So it was okay. Them also round just for the... the the fish bowl, the fish bowl, how you call that? Aquarium, no, the fish bowl, right? Okay, so um, now let's do this and let's see. I think it's gonna be cute, especially if you go to a Dr. Seuss celebration, you know, it can be the birthday party theme or it can be literacy week. Like for example, in a lot of elementary schools, they celebrate literacy week thinking about Dr. Seuss theme. So this can be a very cute idea to be even decorating a uh, centerpiece. Um, make sure you have a good quality, clear balloon, okay? And why? One thing, because we're gonna kind of stretch and use our fingers, uh, but also if you have an 11 inch round, I think it's gonna be easier than if you have a five inch round. So this one I'm using here, I used in this occasion, it was a nine inch round, uh, clear balloon. But I found that this one I have now an 11 inch round, so we're gonna use this one because you have to play with what you have with you, okay? So let's see what happens and I'm sure it's, we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn or at least we're gonna practice. <laughs> that's, that's a good way to think, right? Now, I like it, I like the idea, the concept because remember, we are representing. It doesn't have to be exactly you, that's just the way you represent and that's kind of the beautiful part. Uh, when you create something that is already created in drawing, right? Because the main, the original, it was in his Dr. Seuss brain, and then he draw it for his, you know, um, books, you know, kids, children's book. The thing is, the concept was drawing, and then you trying to make it into balloons, and you can can go exactly in details, but depending your style. In my case, I think I'm more like. Let's represent, and this is the way I feel right now, today, representing this design, because many years ago, I made it again, but it was a little bit different. I like it this way. I like his face. Look at the sharp time. Look at that. I think it's easy. It's cute. And the whole idea that comes in, I think is people is going to recognize it. Look, when I did it before, this design for an event, everybody was asking for that. And we say, oh, please, I want that, I want that design. So now I'm going to tell you the first time you may think, oh, this takes forever. But really, after making 10, because that's what happens sometimes when you have a cool design, like the same happened in my alpaca festival that I did last Saturday. And it happens that I was uh, just repeating alpacas, making lots of alpacas. And this happens with this design when I was in an event. It was at a college event and we were celebrating Literacy Week. And I made a lot of yes, you know, Dr. Seuss. Everybody likes this one more than even the cat in the hat, and they wanted this. Now remember, this design can be even better. How? Of course, lights. Let's put some LED lights inside. Even if you have a sticker that says Dr. Seuss birthday or stuff like that, awesome. Okay. Now, Cecilia, but if this can be bracelet or no? Well, if you have a linking balloon clear, of course. If you if it's not with a racing bead technique, this can be attached anywhere. Okay. So that's the idea. Now let's do this. Uh, go practical. It's gonna be balloons 260 clear, balloon 260 orange. So let's go with those two. 260 clear and it can be just a scrap. Look, 
this is the leftover of the first one I made. So it can be a scrap, but just in case. Because I'm in a good mood. You know why? Because when I think about Dr. Seuss, that Dr. Seuss' birthday is March 4th, then right away it's coming my birthday. And of course, I get excited. So March 7th is my birthday. When you are watching this video, that means we are very close to my birthday. And I want to already thank all of you for being watching this um, kind of like a challenge myself. And thank you all of you for watching everyday videos. I've been posting everyday videos all this year, pretty much. So I think it was really cool, the idea. Now, after my birthday, it's gonna be more in a schedule. Idea that once a week, I think it's gonna be tutorials. And then once in a while, or surprise, there's gonna be some live videos, just talking about, you know, designs, techniques, ideas, news, and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna try to make each design in Spanish and in English. So there's gonna be two versions of the same design. And this is the fun part about it. The concept that it's never the same, even that it's one design that I'm sharing in English. If you wanna give it a try, go watch the Spanish version. And you, one thing will practice your Spanish. <laughs> and the other thing, uh, you are gonna be maybe catching some new things that it, it wasn't in the first video that it was only in English. So the same thing in reverse. If you are, si hablas en español, vas a poder practicar tu inglés en los videos que son en inglés y a la misma vez vas a poder a captar ideas que no estuvieron en un diseño que estaba en inglés y en el otro, bla, bla, bla. You have the idea? <laughs> I think so. Maybe, tell me the comment, what do you think about this idea? A lot of you watching my videos are bilingual or you are more like fluent in Spanish like me. That's my language, Spanish but I give it a try and practice my English, my Spanglish idea. And I think it works. I and mean, I think it's been good, doing great, but for some reason I stopped making videos in Spanish. And I'm thinking, well, you know, I should go that area because I'm bilingual, so I can do this in both languages, believe it or not. <laughs> so that's the news, okay? Those are the news. And that is gonna start going on after my birthday. Yes, but thank you all of you for being watching everyday bird, uh, videos. And on my birthday, let's see if you uh, would like to collaborate with this channel. On my birthday, I'm gonna be opening packages. So there is still time, especially if you have those um, Amazon Prime because it came from right away, right? So there is my Amazon wish list on the comments and also in the description of all my videos. Also, what else is there? It's my address, so you can send packages. And everything is very well appreciated because one thing totally motivates me as a human being when I receive something from all of you that I don't really know you in person. Most of you, I don't know you in person, but I know you appreciate this channel and all these years sharing tutorials and techniques and ideas and just the whole time together, right? So that's something really cool. And everything, again, is very well appreciated. You can always donate money to my PayPal, my PayPal account or you can also hit the super thanks button on YouTube and then donate money there. Eventually it will come to me. I think so. <laughs> so let's start it. It's a long intro. You know why? One thing is give you time to people to watch the premiere. And the good thing when you watch the premiere, I noticed that the commercials, the ads are not that many. It's only one at the beginning. Then you have the whole video to watch it, you know, together. So that's kind of cool, right? So. There we go. Now, I told you, one balloon to six inflated, it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna use all, so I just inflated this time six finger tail, but that doesn't really matter again. And you can use half of the balloon to 60. Then make sure you have your clear balloon, okay? And it's easier if it's 11 inch round. This is really, I have to confess, it's an all balloon. So this is a good thing. If I make it in a, with an all balloon, you know, that means it's gonna work with any balloon, right? So this is an old balloon that I found here on all my messy table. Okay, now what else? Well, now let's go with the color of the fish. Some drawings appears to be red fish, but I think it's gonna look better with orange fish. It's up to you and at the end it can be any color, but you need to learn to make the fish a balloon to 60 and a linking balloon to make it easier. If you don't have linking balloons, if you don't have a yet linking balloons, 
<laughs> so uh, you can use that raisin bean technique, okay? You can do that. Yes, it is possible. It's just going to take you longer. But if you are practice with your raisin bean technique, probably you are already fast doing that technique. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to use orange. That means I'm going to use a Lincoln Balloon Orange and a 260 Orange. If you have 160 Orange, great. Good for you. I don't have 160 Orange. And this is the moment I remember. Your collaboration to this channel is very well appreciated and very important. I wish I have orange 160. I wish I have more 160s. And it's uh, thanks to you, your help sending balloons. My address is there in the description because it would be great to have more variety in order to make more designs. And you may say, well, Cecilia, I don't even have balloons linking or hearts or, you know, but this is a good thing. At least if I have it, I know I'm going to start creating designs and then share it with all of you. So that's something cool. And um, yes, that's my, my compromise. You know, whatever I have. And if I discover more materials, more equipment, I, my brain can pop, 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 create more and create more content, which is what I want <laughs> to create more content. So then this channel can be keep going. Okay. So orange to 60 cecilia now focus please no more interruption we already get it like comment subscribe we already get it and please collaborating with the channel okay that's it now from here pay attention because it's coming all about that tutorial all about this design maybe later at the end of my videos what i'm gonna be doing is talking about las vegas bling bling jam and inviting everybody to the awesome balloon convention i'm already registered so that means i i'm gonna be there in july but that i'm gonna talk more about that later okay tutorial time okay so you have your orange 260 because i don't have 160 i know okay. <laughs> i've inflated approximately eight finger or seven finger tail then your linking balloon you're gonna inflate it and this seems big right i'm using by the way decomex that's the plan i'm using right now decomex six inches decomex now let's lose some air the size is pretty much four inches round, okay? That you are gonna inflate it approximately. Something that is a little bit bigger than the palm of your hand, okay? The smallest, the easiest that you give it the air here. Okay, now tie it close to the nozzle. Tie it close to the nozzle. There you go. Now we're gonna do this cool thing. Look, 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 pew! Push the air up. Many times we do this, make a Two finger bubble pinch twist. Another two finger bubble approximately. Okay, remember things doesn't have to be perfect. We are trying here to do our best. Pinch twist. Everything is soft and squishable. So that is cool. Everything is gonna be easy. Now, interesting. This is very interesting shape. And you have this. Why? Now, this is why. When you have this tip, you can all pull it and pass it right here, all the way to that two pinch twist here. And that creates, and this is what we did also for the dragon, a line that is infinity connections. Uh, well, you know, you can connect a lot of things. So pull, pass this around. Okay. And then you have something like this. What? Yeah, like a booty. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> or a peach, right? It can be like a peach. Okay. Now, we have this, that is gonna be on top, okay? So people's not gonna see that much. This is gonna be the front that people's gonna see. And then here, it's gonna give me the moment to make um, what is gonna be the rest. Okay, let's do this. Uh, you're gonna start for different points. So I'm gonna start this time with a bubble pinch twist with the orange 260. And I'm gonna touch it right here on top. PPP view. Well, here, look, remember this is thing, you can always open it. Let's pull past it through. Like, it's a sign, that is incredible. I know, this is a very cool technique. You just pass it with the pinch twist, and now you can make another pinch twist. Yep, that's gonna... Then, you're gonna make something like a spines. Now, you can just make it as simple as you want. Even loops can be okay, but it's just like two finger bubble and another you know, two finger bubble or one finger bubble. Okay, nothing too big, nothing too wild, but something like that. Like two and then one, if it's better. Now, you have to pass this again through that line, that string, the tip, 
And now that can be a little bit tricky, and, okay? But you have to pull and pass it. So look how I had it. I put my middle finger and pass it. And now, just, if you think it's easier, you can start making another pinch twist and pass just only the pinch twist. That is an option too. And then you will have there a pinch twist again. But in my case, I'm just gonna pull it. So again, look, I'm just creating a space there and just pull and be constant. Okay, be constant, don't, don't stop. And then kind of be pushing everything. Okay, be pushing the air, and maybe that might gonna be easier. Then regular the air again. So now you have that. That was probably the hardest part so far. Now, from here, you're gonna make another like three finger bubble and then a one finger bubble, just to create kind of like a little spines of, of fins coming out. That's my representation. Again, this can be very easy if you just can make two pinch twists and like three finger bubble, and then you bend that three finger bubble. And then again, two pinch twists, and then bend that three or four finger bubble. So see what you're talking about? Because this is a tutorial, I'm gonna make it what I'm talking about right now, but later, okay? So you will say, ah, oh, okay, makes sense. Okay, so, but way to the end. Let's keep going with this. Okay, so now you have something like that. And look at this cute technique. Already you can see, I can see, this can be also a very cute dinosaur idea. And something similar, remember, I made for very cute dinos for Valentine's past years. Check it out. A cute, cute dinosaurs. They have short arms, they couldn't hug each other. And that is a very cool design, kind of with this same idea, I think. Well, but we are here, and, and now from here, you just kind of put it in this situation look keep it real and measure something like four finger long okay cut with your cutter pew pew leave a tip because you want to tie it then half here tighten it secure tie this piece and we're gonna also measure another four finger long and that's gonna represent the other arm so pass it around and then cut it leaving a tip because you're gonna tighten and pew, and you don't get rid of this because you're gonna lose it. Just some, lose some air, so then it's gonna be easier to do some twisting. So you're gonna have something like this, okay? Save it, that's gonna be the tail. And then this part, make sure you tie it. And you tie it and pass it, you know, around if it's possible. If it's not, you don't have to go too crazy because guess what? There's gonna be another balloon coming pretty soon. So then this piece of the, the fish, and I'm bending this a little bit because he's kind of like, I want to say it's so Don't do this. Don't do it. To the kids, remember? I think I've seen the cartoon or the series or on the books. You know what I'm talking about. You know, I always tell this um, thing that I never heard about Dr. Shoes until I have my own kids when they were babies. And people start giving me these books about Dr. Shoes, and I was like, Okay, what, what is this? It's like, oh, they're trying to explain me. This is uh, a culture in the United States. All the kids know about Dr. Seuss. It's the, how they grew up, you know, with those books. So, yeah. In Peru, we were more with Hansel and Gretel, like Los Tres Chanchitos, you know, Three Little Pigs and stuff like that, that I remember more. But never really about Dr. Seuss until now, probably, people know about Dr. Seuss in Peru because of the movies. You know, the Horton and all those movies. Okay. Let's keep going. What we need here is like with the leftover, and this is maybe the tricky part. And I was planning another idea, but it's like, it's okay, let's go with this. You have this and trying to create a tail, a fish tail. You can go as elaborate as you want, depending, because if it's a 160, it's gonna be much easier. I cannot, you know, lie that. It's the truth. Well, 160 is gonna be much easier to do with more details, but because this is kind of like this, and really it's also a good idea to go simple. It's like when you tie this, if you leave the tip like this, it's going to be good enough. As long as it's going to be easier. Also, this tip, if it's longer. Yeah, that's another true. But now you measure something like four finger long. Look, four finger long. And then the rest, whatever is less, is got to be the, you know, the tail. Yeah. Now you make a bubble. I'm making, should I or no? A little more elaborated? I don't know. Maybe no. You know why? Because then you are going to be doing this all the time, especially for me, like I work at events. Everybody's gonna want the same. So think about that. 
okay if it's for a picture time for your instagram and social media make it elaborate as the tell you know what i'm what you're talking to see let's play me elaborate okay two finger bubble one finger bubble or something like that like a three finger bubble one finger bubble so create a tell and repeat the other side three finger bubble and one finger bubble and close and then you will have at least like for uh two pinch twists you know something like a tail like but in my case and i'm thinking it's going to be much easier for all of us yes because we all want easy easy and this is cool because it's easy okay it's fast but it has a cool concept to put the balloon inside the clear balloon to represent the fishbowl that is cool that is cool okay so this is what i'm gonna do then we'll make four finger bubble and then whatever is left over we're gonna make bubble pinch twist and and then you just go to the end with the bubble and close it so you have two bubbles and then this just split in half the loop split in half and make loops and that's going to represent the, the tail and then the other side whatever is the size really we are not right now thinking oh it's too short it's too long it's like whatever is the size it's going to be fine the having bubbles here in the center of the pinch twist and bubble at the end is going to help you know more to represent this and that is for me my representation of the tail that is going to be right there uh on the inside the clear balloon and everything is secure so that's cool too why why is it you want this to be secure because now it's coming the effect and this is remember you can always grab another balloon make things more elaborated okay yes but also the concept is already there you will see okay so it's a lot of what is representational and go accord to what is the theme even if you make this right now or any occasion people's gonna say okay i think about dr shoes why because of the drawing too yeah that's true grab now this is a moment of do exercise with your fingers like strong fingers 11 inch round is gonna be easy it's supposed to be easier make sure it doesn't have a hole so make sure you have a good quality balloon but most of the time doesn't have a hole look how i open it look i put a lot of fingers because the most fingers you have there is uh you are more stronger to pull right it's pull and make it here a space now this you cannot do it with a castrator because the castrator is that is not gonna make this effect really and also for me i'm more a manual that do this look grab it you can start for the hardest part will be this part <laughs> i recommend it to start with the hardest part but go one loop and then keep pushing look how i'm pushing i'm pushing and accommodating i'm pushing and accommodating pushing 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 and then when you have it like here start kind of like roll take your fingers out and roll and and then look 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 pam 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 you have everything there it's like all chunky but remember i told you about the orange if you leave a long tip it's gonna be things more easier but i have it right here okay now cecilia you're stretching this part is that okay pretty much it's okay if we are stretching too much this part because we're really gonna use this bottom so you can always kind of like put it there in the bottom but this one is the one that you want to inflate so now holding the tip of the orange let's inflate it wait a minute pal. wait whatever you want i'm gonna inflate it i'm keeping with me also the orange okay 260 tip there that we tied remember it's there now i'm gonna hold and inflate it may be making a funny noise you know but it's okay maybe not so that's fine how much air well this is the thing it is an 11 inch round so it, as much air you inflate look i'm kind of trying to push things to go and use the, the bottom and then this part you don't want to use it so you see now kind of like grabbing as much as you can from the bottom and that's it you see this is in there it's representing the tail to waist to twist, twist, twist and i think if you balloon you inflate it like half of the size also is here with nothing so whatever is the size of the tail is going to be the same here of emptiness representing i think that's kind of look cool okay you can put less air if you want on the clear but for me this is enough okay now 
twist look i have here also trap the orange all the time so twist and then pull pass this around and tie it okay and that's it you have this having this already okay you can always make it something roundish but just like this is okay and now this piece you have it to connect it to this side okay so now you pull and pass it around be nice and gentle the see-through balloons are very very sometimes tricky to work with okay so you have something like this look how cool i think it's a very cool design a very cool idea because that fish is kind of like standing there halfway from the fish bowl now to just give it another extra touch this is going to be that's why it's a 260 clear now this is a moment you think wait you know what cecilia i i see this and i feel that i don't need that 260 clear if you don't want you don't you don't have to do it of course no i'm just gonna give you also the the tutorial with what it is with the 260 there now you look at this if you like it great do sharpie time now but if it's not it's keep going let's keep going with the last balloon it's the 260 clear so bubble i like two pinch twists that's why i make two bubbles two pinch twists what for some reason makes me feel that it's a lot more and easy to connect things but it's psychological it's not real squish if you want this to make it a skinner but if it's not squish just so then it's not gonna pop it lasts longer the two pinch twists are gonna be in the back and the rest gonna go around make sure the arms or the fins are here on top okay that's gonna make some pressure there and pass it around how long is that loop Cecilia? you're gonna feel it cut the excess with your cutter how am i doing i'm using my teeth i don't know and this i'm gonna save it because this is what happens when you are at events someone else is going to ask you for this and guess what you know already that with a balloon 260 clear you can get two of these fishing balls this part so i'm saying why are you planning to make another one right now cecilia yes only so i can show you what i was talking about doing the, the other way of the fish because i'm also curious to see how it's going to look okay so now you have this Ta -da -ta -ta, ta -da -ta -da -ta -ta. pretty much it's done now it's sharpie time i love the toshu's character because the sharpie time is very easy very very easy i'm gonna use my black sharpie or what type is this is big it's not that bad eh so i'm gonna go and make big eyes because you have a space so use big eyes one two something like he's worried some lines uh, dr fish uh dr shoes have these expressions a lot double lines and representing uh, expressions he's like something like these them even here eyebrows you know but in the drawing they are coming out of the face but that is in balloons too tricky and then i put it closer the sink goes closer and that's it look nice um what else from here shaky shaky you why sharpie because that's also another thing you need to do the, i love this but in order to take it out with one hand the lid is kind of hard i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you this okay but i like it so in order to make tutorials sometimes i like to use one hand only but Okay, so the design is ready. I hope you like it. Now I'm gonna make it with the spines in this tutorial, or should I go into the Spanish version and do it with that tutorial? <laughs> and you can watch it and remember, ah, oh, I see Cecilia's doing this part different, a little bit different, just to see, just to check if you like it or not too. Okay, that I think is gonna be a good idea. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much and now, my invitation goes here. How? Well, you know, I always invite people and tell them about Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam. You can find all the information there, www.blingblingjam.com. You can register it. And even if you don't make it in person, 
in Las Vegas on July 14 to July 18 this year, 2024, it's okay. Because guess what? This convention goes more than only those four or five days convention in Las Vegas. It goes for the whole year. So as soon as you register, you are part of this group that have Zoom meetings once a month. And these Zoom meetings, it's a lot of content. It's, the, I think, one of the best parts because while you are in your place, in front of your computer or cell phone, you are going to be learning techniques, designs, ideas, tutorials, but in these Zoom meetings that also they're going to be recorded and you will have access later to watch again the videos of the tutorials. So it's kind of like a club, right? You are part of the club. I love it because also you are in touch with all your friends, your balloon friends that you made because this convention is really cool that way that everybody's so friendly. I love when I'm there because I see everybody ah, after one year in person, but if it's not once a month, in all these videos and on the days of the convention all the classes so the convention the main convention is going to be in july 14 to july 18 all the classes are going to be recorded and also be sharing to you if you already subscribe if you subscribe to this convention you will have all that so it's a very an amazing content uh, a lot of you know classes from different balloon artists around the world so that is another cool thing because I appreciate, thank you so much if you're watching and learning a lot because of my videos. But I'm like, Pew, like this, <laughs> compared to other balloon artists that one thing have more experience, have probably more time practicing, uh, and also have experience in specific things that probably I'm not doing. Like, for example, I love balloon twisting. The core is not my thing, but guess what? In this convention, the Las Vegas Pinion Young, also you get some decor to get into your twisting idea mind. So they call deco twisting. And that's something cool because that's how I learned some of more decor to offer because it's good that you keep expanding this. Don't leave it in the basic. We don't leave this, this you know, awesome art into just one balloon dog. Even that I always make one balloon dogs at the event, but also I make these awesome cool style designs. So that's a cool idea, okay? Conventions are gonna help you to keep expanding with the last, with the new ideas and everybody sharing. And that's something I enjoy a lot about Las Vegas Mundial. Everybody's super friendly, open to help, very humble. The, you know, the most, like you call legends in the balloon world, that is, for example, Ken Stillman, a beautiful person. The times that I meet him, you know, it's amazing because it's like he has so much experience and so ha much stories to tell, you know, about how was before, you know, the balloon uh, industry and the entertaining with balloons. And also he's still there, you know, and it feels great. You know, he always can show you something basic that is very important. And sometimes you start twisting without even think about that important rule. <laughs> and I'm not gonna tell you, guys, you know, something I learned, but, and, and this is something cool. And I think everybody respect. A lot of things, you know, artists share, they keep it exclusive. So there's a lot of things that I'm not sharing here. And <laughs> believe it or not, like this, you share everything. <laughs> believe it or not, I don't share everything because I had to respect that it's from other people. Other people's, you know, that have something exclusive to share. And also because probably they make videos as uh, DVDs and that is, you know, the value you pay the artist that came with all that. My concept is totally different. I'm more like, look, what I feel that I discovered something, but at the end, probably around the world, millions of people, probably someone else, are, or mi million people more have the same idea. I just have the chance to put it there on YouTube. And uh, it can be kind of like, you know, a lot of artists don't like this. But at the end, I just would enjoy doing my best to, to feel that this is my way to give a little bit to what is expanding the balloon world, uh, twisting, you know, the art of but twisting balloons and provide joy. Because I know that there is there behind this screen people that are better, like having more potential. So whatever they can learn from this channel, they can poof, grow and make be better future amazing artists and famous and stuff like that. <laughs> For me, I kind of like very um, conformist and it sounds kind of bad, right? But at the same time, I don't think so because I feel that this is good. I like to see others, you know, grow. And this is, I know, I feel this is the level. This is my limit. And 
you know, here I am very grateful because thanks to this YouTube channel, I was able to meet wonderful people. And that for me, that's it. Because this is great, right? This is a moment to share uh, feelings or emotions or, you know, ideas or concepts about also life. I learned a lot about the life of balloons. It represented also my, my own, uh, what is my own life, you know, and how to react to situations in life from balloons. I kind of learn and you learn to be patient, especially when you work with kids, right? Uh, at the end, I think it's adults that you have to be more patient with the adults. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm leaving now because I'm like now, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm possessed, like balloons came into me and I've started talking to <laughs> But I'm very excited and happy because because you see it feels great to be yourself and that's thanks to this channel that i feel great and then go and pass this moment of just virtually and be in person with people that seems this part of me it feels great like for example when i met diane and she was already knew what all the things i say on this channel diane cross and and i was like wow and this lady is so beautiful and amazing and so fun and and it makes me feel so comfortable so she gave me a great welcome into Las Vegas Blooming Jam because she goes to Las Vegas Blooming Jam all the time. She's one of the queens, if you don't know her, Diane Cross, Mwah, besos. And also Ella Bella and Grandma V and uh, Michelle and so many beautiful vaginette. <laughs> it's like, man, the list is endless. And then if I'm going to talk about all the boys, it's like, wow, they are amazing people. And yes. That's it, Cecilia. Yes, that's it. See you in the next video. If you want to learn some Spanish, I'm going to be talking in Spanish. It's kind of pretty much the same idea, just adding a little different difference here. Okay? Ciao, ciao. Hey, guess where I am? <laughs> Uh, will you be using your mobile today? How can I help you? Hi, uh, I would like an ice cream cone, please. Okay. That's it? That looks correct. You're called 243. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I could invite you here, but no, you say no. So I'm going to enjoy my ice cream cone because totally I, I knew I wanted to have some ice cream today. So I need my card. Okay. Let me see. I have here my awesome card. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I love pink. Demo tips for ice cream. Hi. Yes. So this is so cool. Thank you so much. Jackie McAllister. <laughs> I gotta get my ice cream. So that's what I wanted to record it. Thanks. So this is what time is now. You see, I thought that by one I would have my ice cream gone, but nope. I had to wait because I had to do some diligence. When I have the car, you see, I better use it. Diligencia se dice en inglés errands. E R R A N D S. Errands. Er it's called er running errands. Awesome. It's not. It is not doing errands. Running errands. Haciendo diligencias. You too. Bye. Mira, Woo! baby, yo soy tu Duolingo. Haciendo diligencias mm. es running errands. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, qué rico. Love it. Thank you so much. Cheers Duolingo. to all of you. 35 days Thank week. You. ¿Cómo se dice haciendo diligencias? Uh, doing my errands. Running errands. Running errands. Okay. Okay. La acción del día también en inglés. Yes. Chao. Thank you. So now take me a picture, please.